Hi everyone. This is a very, very impromptu video. Like I just grabbed my camera and I'm like, I'm just going to film this because so this video, um, I thought maybe I would take you along on a little designing expedition. And then in the end, I'm going to put up what I've designed and I'm going to have you guys vote on them. I want you guys to be um, involved in creating some of the new envelopes that I'm looking at putting in my shop. And I'll look at all the comments and um, I, I hope that maybe I can go with majority, but we'll, we'll kind of see. I'm up in, in the air whether I'm just going to offer one kind or two kinds. And so this is the process of going into designing what goes on your shop. For those I know I've seen across the YouTube spectrum, I've seen um, a lot of uh, people saying, you know, ah, oh, you know, I'm thinking about opening an Etsy shop. Well, guess what? You're going to see a firsthand count of what goes into a Etsy shop. I'll be completely honest with you. Um, my desk is a mess. You can see <laughs> that I don't even have my board down. But, I mean, literally, my desk is a mess. Like, there is stuff everywhere. But this is kind of the designing process. I'm sorry if I just moved it, everybody. So you're going to see my head get in the way <laughs> because I wear glasses and at times I'm blind. Uh, my lighting stinks. Um, it's very gloomy outside today. There's no sunshine. It's supposed to snow again. The wind is howling. Um, but anyway, I thought that this would be a great behind the scenes, that's the words that I'm looking for, a behind the scenes at what goes into you know, designing for the masses. What I like, probably 90% of my viewers don't like. So it's about deciding what will people hit your shop and buy. You, you creep on everybody else's Etsy shop. What are they selling? What are they not selling? What can I do different? And it's not an easy process. I'll be very, very honest with you. Sometimes you really luck out. You you come up with that design, like my budget roll with all the months on it. I've not seen anybody else do that. So they're doing exceptionally well. Um, the budget wallet, I've seen other people do. Um, so anyway, okay, so let's let's just let's just get right into this. So what I'm thinking. And you're going to hear me talk to myself and <laughs> so you'll probably laugh. I usually have music going in the background, but I know if I put it on, I'm going to get copyrighted. So anyway, I found these at Hobby Lobby. So they're glitter pads, but there's no glitter. There's, there's no glitter that comes off, which is what I love because I hate glitter. Glitter to me should be banned in the world because it's the most annoying stuff anywhere. Anyway, so I found these bling, bling, bling. Um, I'm not a bling person, but I know that half of the people out on YouTube looking for stuff might be bling people. And that's what you have to take into consideration. You have to put your likes aside and think about what are people going to buy and literally designing for everybody. So I found these. I thought that they were really cute. I've got a silver, gold, and black one. And then I've got a multicolor one which is freaking adorable. I just thought that these were great. They were, you know, in your face and I can design zipper envelopes to go with it. So anyway, so these are just, again, prototypes. They're not, they probably look like crap, but right now I'm just looking at colors. So these are the gold ones that I came up with. So I've got a gold. I love, I like this and I've seen it on other people's shops. Um, I don't know how well they're going to sell. You know, sometimes you just got to put it out there and see what happens. Seriously. I mean, you just, you think that it might go well, but it may be a bust. But I thought that these boxes with the florals on it kind of added a little bit of, a little bit of elegance, a little bit of, you know what I mean? Um, just a little bit of class. Um, so I made one with the gold and the black in black. And then I made another one in cream. 
And I think the black really stands out, but I really think that the cream is kind of kind of classy. So I, I don't know, you know, do you offer both of them and put that work in there? Do you just offer one? So this is, so what do you guys think? If you, even if you're not a bling person, if you were given the choice, um, what would you take? Would you take the black? This is what the black looks like. Okay. Or would you take a cream color? I was going to try white, but I think white is not good. So with the gold. So in the comment section, I just want you to put black polka dots, uh, black and gold polka dots, and either black or cream, and let me know what you think, okay? So um, I don't think that I would do any other colors on on this. I just think that bringing in another color, just it's just going to take away from what I'm, what I'm looking for. Okay, so this one here, so I did a silver. Um, I think these are just, these are so pretty. Um, see, isn't that pretty? That's nice. Okay, so I think with this one, the cream for sure is not going to go. I, I don't think that the cream would do well with silver. So with these, I'm either going to make them in white or I'm going to make one in black, either white or black. So all this is, is basically, like I said, scrapbook paper, and you just put them in the front. I was thinking about, and then you stop and think about how heavy is this paper. I mean, this is not going to be taken. You don't take this out of the envelope. You kind of leave it and slip your money behind it. Um, I was like, do I laminate this to give it a little bit of rigidity? But then I put it in. I'm like, I don't think I need to, I think, because this is not something that you take out. This is decorative. Um, so it just kind of slips in there like that. And then you just take your money out, you know what I mean? From behind it. And then it's obviously labeled on the front. So I just cut another design off, um, from my Cricut and this is the tedious part. So when I'm custom making all of these envelopes, I'm not going to lie. Some of them are, they're really detailed and some vinyl you waste. <laughs> you probably waste about 5% of your roll just on excess. Um, so this is called weeding. You just literally go in after it comes off the Cricut, you literally go in and just pull off all the spaces so that it ends up looking like this. So some of the ones that I have done, so when you're looking at these pictures on Cricut, you really have to decide, oh my God, that looks amazing. I love it, da da da. But how long is it gonna take you to weed that, um, that design? Um, some of them that I have done, I questioned, you know, I'm like, this is taking a lot of time for me to get done. And the old saying goes, time is money. Um, now this isn't my full-time job, obviously you all know that this is basically a hobby for me. So I'm not so much worried about, I, I mean, I, like I've said before, I'm an empty nester. You know what I mean? My husband isn't home, you know, some of the nights when he's working, I've got the time. I, it doesn't, I have to take into consideration because I have to take into consideration ship time, especially when I get really busy and I can't, um, you know, spend hours and hours and hours on end on one envelope. So you have to really take into consideration how much time is it taking you to do this envelope? Is it worth it? Do you really think that people are going to buy it? Um, if you price it too high, then people are not going to buy it. So pricing is another whole ball game. And anybody out there who has an Etsy shop knows exactly what I'm talking about. I know that we all go on and we look at each other's prices. And I, <clears throat> I know I have to do that today for vinyl. And it's such a huge spectrum out there. Um, because some other YouTubers who, um, who make this their full-time living, and some people do, they make this a full-time job, um, can't afford to 
to spend hours and hours and hours on end. They got to crank them out to get to the next one so that they can ship them out and get them gone. And um, me, I can take a little bit of extra time. That's why I don't mind doing custom orders, but you've got to look at you, you've got to look at your pricing and it's something that I need to go back and revisit again just to make sure that I'm not losing money in the end because now that I'm into like my third month, February will be my my third month that my Etsy shop is open, um, I can look at how much money I'm spending, how far can I get a, a roll of vinyl. And it, so if you're if you're thinking about opening an Etsy shop, these are all of the things that you really need to take into consideration. So yeah, so as I'm sitting here talking to you, I'm weeding this one envelope. So I'm kind of, you know, watching the clock a little bit. Hi, Louie. Hi, buddy. Louie's here to visit. Hi, Lou. Hi, buddy. Want to say hi? Come here. Come here, Lulu. Where is he? Come here. <laughs> no, I don't want your butt. Come here. Come on up here. Come here, Lou. <laughs> He's being garish. Sorry. I didn't mean to make you sick. <laughs> um... I didn't mean to make you sick. Sorry, guys. <laughs> he comes in here. He's like, scratch my back and I'll be okay with this. Okay. Um, so as I'm sitting here talking to you, uh, hopefully, yeah, um, I'm sitting here weeding this one envelope. Is it detailed? Yep. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. No, I'm not scratching your back anymore. Get out of here. Um, I'm sitting here weeding you and I'm kind of keeping an eye on the 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 um the clock on my computer that is to my right um you know how much time is it really taking me to do this and if i get slammed like i did the very beginning of january um how much time is this really going to take me now the good part is when i have my slow times like now i can pre-do some of these i can just you know I can just do this and then wait to see what you want on front and then just put the label on it. So anyway, um, again, this is not the best weed job. I'm not going for perfection right now. I'm just going for, for look. So, okay. So that's weeded. Didn't take me as long as I thought it would. It was, it's a pretty simple design. So, um, we take our transfer tape, put it over. Okay. Now some people use, um, Some people use this. This is from Cricut, and they just kind of go over it, and then they pull it up that way, and that's all well and good, but I've got enough crap on my desk to take to keep track of, so I just use the back. This is like my lifeline. I use this little picky thing for everything. So I just take it, and I go over, kind of just make sure that, oops, see what I mean? Again, not being picky. <laughs> my transfer tape isn't big enough. Just kind of going over it, and then we're going to lift it. Pretty simple. Kind of give it a little help if needed. We pull it off. Okay. Now this is my silver one. Get out of here. Again, this I picked a, you know, a, a one, a, an old one that was bent because these are all prototypes. So I'm not concerned about even how. I'm just going for coloring right now. That's my big thing. Okay, so this is white. You know, because when you look at, when you hold the roll up to, up to the, um, up to the scrap paper, you're like, oh man, that looks really good. But once you get, where's the end of this? Once you get it onto the paper, it may look totally different. Okay, so this is white. This is what the white one on silver looks like. Okay. So, I mean, I like it. It's very delicate. It doesn't pop like this does, like this black. This black pops for me. This kind of blends in a little bit more. So this blends in a little bit more nicely against the bling in the back. So what I'm going to do now, and I should have done it already, but I'm going to... Um, again, scraps, not worried about, this is where I end up using all my scrap paper. So if I have, um, extra, 
um, label someplace. Let's see if this is going to be big enough. Um, yes. If I have um, extra vinyl that I might have inadvertently cut off or whatever the situation is, I'm try to flatten this a little bit more. That'll work. Again, not going for perfection right now. I'm just looking at. Hold on. Go over to my Cricut. Print this off and that will take me a couple of more minutes so um, we'll look at the black on top of this I think the black is really gonna pop like this does because it's that deeper color but I have to decide is is that what I'm going for am I going for pop or am I going for blending or do I offer both you know what I mean? And this is where the decisions need to come in selling to the masses. Um, I like the bling. I know that there are a lot of bling people out there. I've, I've kind of seen people that really like that sparkly type thing. Um, but as far as coloring is concerned, I mean, do I, do I just, do I offer both? And is it worth my time to offer both? But I know that if I offer both, I might sell more. But on top of selling more, there's more that goes into that goes into to doing it. So anyway, we're gonna let that one go again. This is a very <laughs> I'm like, you know what? This is they need to know my thought process. They absolutely need to know what my thought process is. So um, I'll do I'll probably end up doing the same thing for all of these different colors. You know, now these are really bright colors, and if anybody knows me. You've been following my videos. You've been following my Etsy shop. You know I like color. I am not a minimalistic designer. I like bold, in-your-face most of the time. Now, I did find something that I kind of fell in love with. And I think I'm going to remake envelopes for myself using this. So I found this pad. And I do not know why. And I am normally not a shabby chic type of person. But for some reason, this pad, it just spoke to me. And I just, I like it. it. It's just pretty. And I think maybe that is the really what I'm going for in my, because I want to design another, all new envelopes for my binders. I want to get all new binders, um, kind of save my others, you know what I mean? But I want them to, but this shabby chic one, all of these really pretty delicate now they've got it's colorful you know what I mean but they're very muted so I mean in a situation like this you know what I mean you take let's take this for example you hold this up against it and you're like okay that looks really pretty or even a white I would never do black against it I don't think that black would pick up on it I think that would just not be really good I mean you might be able to pick up a baby blue in there, you, you know what I mean, for this particular pattern. But these, now this is my taste. I have to stop, get out of my own brain and say, would other people buy this? That's why we all kind of look at each other's shops and we all look at each other's sales. Now, my shop is still brand new. It's in its infancy stage. I look at other people that have sold thousands of envelopes and I'm like, not that I'm copying them. I'm not. I'm just seeing what is selling in their shop and what is not. And that's what I look at. I'm going to make up my own designs because if I'm copying everybody else, I'm probably not selling anything because you all have a ton of other shops like savings challenges. You don't come up with something new for a savings challenge. Just doing a, a, a download on a savings challenge is not... Because there's thousands of them out there. So thinking outside the box and trying to do something a little bit on the, the newer side, that's what people are looking for. That's one of the reasons why I can't move my binders. Because everybody is doing binders. So now i got to think outside the box. What can I do with my binder that obviously nobody else has done before? I.e. Business 101. So I like this combination, but my question is, would everybody else? So here's my question to you guys. If I put something like this, 
you know what? Let's go to the source. Let's go to you guys. If I put something up on the, on the, and honest, the, I, I want honest opinions. This is not, oh, I'm going to tell her what she wants to hear. If you were given an option to buy this, yay your nay. Okay. Same thing with, um, you know, something like this. All of these colors would be, would be beautiful. You know what I mean with this? So, I mean, I have got <clears throat> a ton. When I'm saying a ton, I am saying a ton of scrapbook paper that I can do wonders with. I've got vellum that I want to try to, you know what I mean? I mean, this is, to me, that's, that's beautiful. This, again, very floral, but very minimalistic. Um, that's usually what the vellum is used for, but I mean, I have got literally lots of florals, lots of patterns, zebra stripes for those that like it, black and white. I mean, I can do, I can do basically anything that anybody wants. Um, these are just regular, you know, everyday patterns that... I, I need to cut and, you know, use for my boxes, but, um, you know, and then you go into the seasons, which everybody loves. They love doing holiday, red, white, and blue, um, Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's day, St. Patrick's day. So I want to take these and do something like this, um, with this and then just something across the front. So uh, you have to balance when you look at your shop, you need to balance your labor because if you're putting up a shipping time, people are kind of halfway, unless something traumatic comes up or something, you know what I mean, unforeseen comes up. You have to balance what you can do versus your shipping time, if that makes sense. So if you're overloaded because you have got so many, you've got orders that just take you hours and hours and hours on end. You need to compensate, I think. Now, again, anything that I'm telling you guys may be totally wrong to somebody who has an Etsy shop for years and years and years. This is my experiences over the last three months. This is what I am learning, and I am sharing my experiences with you. Anybody else that may have an Etsy shop, they may think something different. Um, but I am trying to balance something that may be taking me a little bit longer, like my custom orders to something that I can make up fairly quickly and ship. I can just do that because I can make up, you know, a couple dozen of these in a couple of days, have them, you know, in my box. And when somebody wants one, just put groceries on there, you know, vinyl groceries and put it out the door. Um, which is why somebody that's ordering non-custom uh, envelopes for me can literally get it. I can ship it the next day because I've made so many in advance, which is why I don't really mind. Not that I want you guys to stop placing orders. That's not what I'm talking about. I don't mind a little bit of downtime because then I can get into something new like what I'm doing. You know what I mean? What I'm doing right here. And yes, my cricket is still going. Sorry. So anyway, um, I've, I've never worked with vellum before. You know what I mean? But if you take something like this and do something like that, I mean, that's, to me, that's beautiful. I mean, that is just, that is just gorgeous to me. Or something like that with the, with the um, chevron in the back. So you spend a lot of time in Hobby Lobby just kind of <laughs> pulling things and, you know what I mean, kind of just, you know, Looking at colors, and I mean, I thought that this was beautiful. Um, you know, with the chevron in the back and the different colors. So you have to balance what you're paying versus your time versus what can you do in the masses to be able to turn around and, and get out for people. Because I'll be honest with you, right now we live in an age of instant gratification which is one of the reasons why downloads where that instant download from Etsy, those people kind of do really well um, because you can download it and you can have it instantly. Um, yes, eventually I would like to get into some of those downloads. There's no labor. There's no, um, I just have to, 
get onto YouTube and figure out how to do it and then create them. And um, again, plans in the future for my shop. You know, this one is very minimal minimalistic. It's got polka dots on it and that's it. So anyway, um, so I am very curious and I know I've got a mess, but I'm very curious. I mean, just, just based on these, um, based on my little other pad there, what do you, you know, what do you guys think? I know that this is a lot, um, and I don't, I didn't want to make this a terribly long video and have you guys just sit here and, you know, watch me weed. That wouldn't work. <laughs> but I also wanted to give you that, that insight to, um, to what goes into making these decisions at an Etsy shop. You want to give everybody what they want, but there's also not enough time in the world to give every, everybody what they want, you know, um, you know, I look at this one and I'm like, ooh, pink would go really well with that. You know what I mean? Or a nice gray. You know, nice gray would go pretty. Um, so I, I'm going to do my new envelopes in, in this pad. Um, and they'll look like this. This is, this is kind of the new line that I wanted to bring in. Um, it it, it kind of gives a, a new dimension. And I've seen a couple of other shops out there um that are kind of that are doing these again i don't want to i don't want to copy their patterns i don't want to i mean some of them are gorgeous mine will probably be a little bit more on the simple side um but i do want to make whatever vinyl goes on the front the main focus where some of the other ones that i'm seeing the main focus is the paper in the background so um, although this is kind of blingy, um, I really, that's why I kind of like the black because the black is the main focus of this instead of the background. So anyway, um, how much, how much time am I at? Ooh, I'm at half an hour already. Okay, guys. So I'm not going to keep you much longer. I just, again, wanted to do a quick impromptu video about, um, about kind of what goes into this. Uh, what goes into this process, leave me some comments. Leave me some comments about what you think, about um, about what you, what you would like. Again, if you would vote for um, gold polka dots in either cream or black, if you would vote for silver in either white, if you can, my cricket's still going, um, if you can imagine a black background on that, would you like a shabby chic one? You know? Um, or if there's something else that you guys think that, you know, in your mind you've, um, you personally would like. So anyway, thanks very much for just tuning in real quick. I'm just gonna, I'm literally not even gonna edit this. I'm gonna throw my, um, my beginning on there and I'm just gonna post it out there and just kind of see what you guys think. But thanks for joining in. I'm looking forward to your comments. I think I'm gonna post more like this as we go on. Um, because I always appreciate your guys' feedback. Okay. See you guys later. Bye.